In this video, I'm actually going to be discussing how the market is doing for the real estate aspect of residential assisted living, also just assisted living and also behavioral health. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have not yet, make sure to go check out the God Made podcast on all streaming platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Also, feel free to go check out Legion Assisted Living Academy and check out the mentorship link down below where you can schedule a 30 minute call for $150 and that could potentially save you thousands of dollars if you're starting from scratch or taking something over in this industry. So make sure to go check that out. Also, if you're looking to possibly lease something or be a limited partner and get invested in a couple of the real estate deals that we do at Valley ALF Ventures, that is also uh, linked down below. And feel free to follow us on Instagram so that way you can stay updated with e the different deals that we're doing and what we have acquired and what's going on with them. So feel free to go check us out at Valley ALF Ventures on Instagram. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. The housing market for assisted living and also for behavioral health has been just like any other aspect of the housing market, whether it's self-storage, whether it's multifamily, whether it's apartments, uh, whatever you name it, has also been very aggressive in the prices of which they've been increasing. So with the assisted living though, what we have noticed because we are somewhat residential but commercial, uh, it's been very interesting to see what's been happening. So as of the last six months, things within this industry as far as the real estate and even the business portion have really started to slow down. And the reason being is because the sellers of these assisted living homes and these behavioral health facilities and assisted living facilities have been really depending a lot on the appraisal and the value of the real estate that they own. The business gets evaluated based off of what their current uh, gross margins are and where they're at with their business. So if they are at full occupancy, they are able to maximize the value of their business. But if they're not, then they're not able to actually maximize on the business valuation of what they're currently have in their home. And so with that, though, it's been very interesting because the real estate market with the commercial and also the residential has in this industry slowed down and the reason being is because there's not as many buyers and therefore a lot of the prices that these places have been selling at are no longer even affordable and sba financing i was talking with somebody with a good uh colleague of mine a broker who actually was telling me that certain sba lenders are no longer they are not actually lending on these assisted living facilities anymore. And so they are tightening up simply because of the potential recession that we're going to be going in. They are no longer going to be lending on these different asset classes, such as assisted living. It's too risky, apparently. And so there are very limited amount of lenders now. And then on top of that, there's not nearly as many buyers who can qualify for SBA lending if that's what they choose to do, which are most a lot of these are these uh, owner operators who you know, they kind of run a mom and pop type of business model. And so these are usually the pool of buyers that they get marketed to, these sellers market to, and they no longer can qualify because SBA lending is getting tighter and tighter. And they also can't go get commercial lending because it does require a larger down payment, which a lot of these operators can no longer afford. So these are a lot of reasons why this industry with the real estate aspect is really slowing down. And so sellers who are looking to potentially sell their assisted livings need to be aware of the fact that the market is starting to slow down within this industry uh, of what you could have gotten for your business or for your uh, real estate even six months ago. And with that, you're starting to see things stay on the market for a lot longer. Now brokers are telling us or telling sellers, hey, expect your properties to be on the market for six months at minimum. Whereas before they were on market for maybe two to three months, which was 
half of what they normally were uh, and now they are starting to slow down and so from my understanding after speaking with a couple different people is that they're no longer even taking any more listings because they can't offload them they can't sell them as quickly as they used to before so now this is starting to cause especially in this industry this doesn't go for all industries i'm not saying this is happening for apartments or other aspects of real estate this is just the specific asset class in the real estate and so because of that now we're starting to see a couple good deals and for the people who are prepared and are able to they can start acquiring these and if not them at least a group of investors that they can actually work with to be able to lease these properties from and grow their operations and this is a really really good time to start looking at deals if you're able to and you have the potential to actually purchase some of these things if you can if not grow your operations and it's going to be a very interesting couple six months like i said in my previous video of what's going to happen uh not only just from the business i think the business aspect of it is going to continue to grow you're going to see a lot more uh, operators coming into this industry and into this business and also operators who are expanding their operations because of the demand that's still coming and will always be there now as far as the real estate side of it i don't know i believe we will see a lot more inventory come in and potentially sellers being uh, paranoid that they're not going to be or desperate in a way thinking that they're not going to be they're going to miss the train which in a way they've already missed the train if they have been on the fence of potentially selling um, but then again we will see what happens within the six months i could be completely wrong and this video doesn't age very well but from my experience and from what i'm seeing and from what the deals that we're doing at the moment we're starting to understand that and it's very interesting to see the shift that's happening in the market. Even six months ago, we were, it was really hard to find a good deal that made sense because the numbers, the margins weren't even there for our operator and it was just really tight for them. And not only that, but we were potentially going to be overpaying down the road if the market decided to slow down or shift and it wasn't appraising or growing and appreciating in value as quickly. And so we are definitely being very cautious and being very aware, but also making sure when an opportunity does come that we take advantage of moving forward with it and acting quickly. Because like I said, there's going to, you can start being a lot more pickier as more deals or in more property and inventory comes onto the market, which is where you want to be. You don't want to necessarily be in a position where you're just acquiring everything and realizing that you're not doing as good of deals as if you, if you were patient and looking for the right one. And that goes for everyone. I mean, that goes for any type of investing. So we shall see what happens, but I truly believe that we have some very, very good opportunities if you're looking to get into this industry, whether it be you as an operator or passively uh, with Valley ALF Ventures. And it, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited to what's to come. And I hope that you all are as well. And hopefully this video gave you guys some insight on what's going on within this industry and within the market of this industry and this real estate uh, asset class and with that being said make sure to go check out all the links down below and make sure to like comment and subscribe i do appreciate the support continue to share these videos and with that being said i will talk to you all in the next one